Episode 4, Jammo. Easter. What can you do in three days? Pause the video and respond. Good Friday. Before we started with Easter, I feel like we should go back a little bit. You see... Good Friday is a really sad day. And why do we call it Good Friday? Is it really good? And why do we say it's good? It's a hard day. It's a sad day. It's a terrible day. And it's really difficult because Jesus died. But it is good. If you remember from our JMO last week, the the Israelites, the Hebrews, had this vision of what a Messiah should be. And that vision was wrong. They, he didn't want to hurt the people they wanted to hurt. And so they said they were going to have to hurt Jesus. And Jesus was sad. And there's one point where he begged God to have it not be so, but it's what needed to be done. And so Jesus carried the cross and he went up and he died. Remember this story. We can cry. We can be upset. We can mourn because he didn't need to die. He had no sin. But because he did this, this is the reason we can be with God forever. It's huge. It's the whole point of the Bible. The, him dying is the beginning of the story that is us being saved. It began with Adam and Eve. Psalms is in the middle. And then Jesus came and Jesus was the reason he is the one who solved all the problems of the Old Testament. Now for the day that we're celebrating, the story of Easter, why we are here, why we're doing this, why we went through Good Friday. Now we know from Good Friday that Jesus died and he was put in the tomb and he was in there for three days. Now the three days are important because Back in that time, they said that when someone had been dead for three days, there was no chance of them coming back to life. They said their soul left their body. It was a really important day for that culture. But Jesus did. He came back on three days, proving not only is he powerful, but that he is God's son. He is God. And so one day, Mary and Martha were walking to the tomb to because they wanted to go clean and and make sure it smelled right. And um, and there was an angel there, and those stone was rolled back, and it was this huge stone, so it was a big deal. So they were surprised. And the angel said, he is not here. He is gone. And they were like, what is happening? What? And they started running back because they're like, we have to go find Jesus. Why is he gone? They thought it was a trick being played. They thought maybe someone had taken him. And as they were running, they were passing a garden, and there was a man there. And they weren't sure who he was at first until they saw him closely and they realized, this is Jesus. This is, he is back. He has come back to life. And they were like, Jesus, you're alive. The celebration there, the excitement that Jesus had come back. And Jesus said, go and tell the others what I've done. And that's exactly what they did. Just like how God delivered the Israelites from Egypt Jesus delivered us from sin and death. The end. For now. Have a meal with your family. Pray with your family and say thanks to God that he sent Jesus so that we can live with him forever now.